The Wall Street Journal described downtown St. Louis real estate as a nightmare. In a piece published this week, the national publication calls out the large number of vacant buildings. Justina Cornell dug into their findings and as reaction from leaders and people in the downtown community, she joins us in studio with more. Justina. Mike and the Wall Street Journal said the city is desperately trying to reverse the quote doom loop. But critics say while work needs to be done, this article didn't show the entire picture. It's a headline that grabs your attention. The real estate nightmare unfolding in downtown St. Louis. The Wall Street Journal published it this week. And when the Wall Street Journal reporter came into town about a month ago, uh, we spent a couple hours walking around downtown and showing him different uh, developments, stores, things that have opened, that have closed. Downtown resident Dennis Boganovich showed his city to the Wall Street Journal reporter. Once released, he realized more should have been shared. Data that the journal uses doesn't count what happens at the Arch, which had highest visitor total in a decade, the convention center, everything in downtown West. So from Tucker going to Jefferson, the stadium, City Hall, uh, Union Station, uh, City Museum. The article talked about the vacancy of the Railway Exchange building in the recently purchased AT&T Tower. It also focused on empty storefronts, the pandemic pitfall, and a big drop in foot traffic, crediting a study from the University of Toronto. In response, Greater St. Louis Inc. shared this image. It said University of Toronto's definition of downtown is in blue and the actual definition is in light green. The organization believes the data on economic recovery used a smaller portion of the area. We see actually well over 80% return of foot traffic to downtown after the pandemic. Um, that's different from what the Wall Street Journal uh, portrays. So a lot of this that was pointed out in the article, we knew. We've been working on, and I think we're starting to make some progress on. Seeing success is Ucraft owner opening up this location in 2020. So you can expect us to average between two to 300 people every lunch. Our revenue's up, um, and we are. We're looking to expand. All three admit more work needs to be done, and it's going to take multiple players to keep momentum going. We need the entire region to be behind downtown because that is what how we are shown to the world. Senior Vice President of Greater St. Louis Inc. points out the success of this past weekend seeing more than 100,000 visitors downtown for a variety of sports and entertainment events.